Hello and welcome to this E&M video on Siemens and Linux. My name is John Hill and I'm one of the E&M Siemens product specialists. Now today we're going to talk a little bit about Siemens and how they're using Linux and their new product uh, that came out last year in 2019 uh, called Somatic Industrial OS. If you've been following Siemens at all lately, uh, you know that they're getting into Linux more and more all the time. Uh, they recently released uh, their HMI panels called WinCC Unified Comfort Series, uh, which has a Linux background. Uh, they have the 1518 multi-function or multi-platform unit, which also has a version of Linux that runs on it, and a few other products. And so we're going to talk a little bit about some of their strategies and where they're going with some of this stuff right now. Uh, the current version of Somatic OS that is released is version 1.5. Uh, version 1.3 and 1.5 uh, are both based on Debian 9, uh, which is a very popular uh, platform in the Linux uh, community, if you will. If you've looked at Linux at all, you see a lot of them say based on Debian. And uh, Debian 9 is one of their LTS versions, their long-term service support package, uh, which has a lot of patches and things coming out for it on a regular basis. Uh, based around security and adding different functionalities. Uh, one of the things that they're really looking at at Siemens is putting Linux onto their industrial PCs. Uh, if you look at the release notes for each version as it comes out, it will tell you which of their PCs it has been uh, tested on and any issues if there are known issues as far as possibly uh, the lights, LEDs on them, maybe not functioning quite the way they expected to or things like that. Uh, as I mentioned, you know, they released the Somatic HMI panels. One of the other things that just released this year is the IoT 2050. Uh, the slide here mentions the IoT 2040, which was uh, released previously. Uh, the 2050 came out and will probably eventually re replace the 2040 entirely. Uh, 2050 is available without an OS in one version, and in one version that has an OS, uh, that OS is going to be kind of a pared down uh, version of industrial OS. And then also they have a hypervisor based platform that's called the Open Controller. Uh, that's basically a crossbreed between a PC and a PLC controller. It's in the ET200SP format and runs comes currently with a Windows OS running on it and a software controller running side by side. Uh, that will be, it comes currently in a Linux capable version, but will also be uh, hopefully soon available with a pre installed Somatic Industrial OS free, and you can't charge for it. The kernel itself is free, uh, but lots of companies out there have done a lot of testing with it and have support staff available, and that takes a lot of investment, so it costs money. So they do are able to do some development around the kernel and add some features to it and charge for this. And one of the big things is the support that you get with those versions of Linux. Uh, so Industrial OS happens to be one of those versions of Linux that is paid for and it allows you to call into their technical support and get help when you need it. Uh, another misconception is that you are required to work at the command line level. There are a lot of uh, graphical user interfaces out there that you can actually download. The base install for Linux, for Somatic Industrial OS, actually has an option to download some of these different graphical user interfaces, uh, KDE and GNOME being the two most popular ones on the market. Uh, once you have it installed, there's an awful lot of packages out there that you can download uh, to make your work life easier with Industrial OS. And the last one is that Linux is constantly changing. And that's true to a little bit, but no more true than Windows. Uh, you have Download Tuesdays and stuff for Windows that everyone is familiar with nowadays, where you have lots of security updates coming out. Same thing in the Linux world. Uh, most of the updates are around security, and then the, also some occasionally added features. To wrap up, I just want to kind of show you, you know, some of the things that we've talked about here a little bit. Um, you know, Industrial OS is specifically designed around somatic IPCs. The industrial PC world uh, has maybe some different drivers and things like that that you would not get in just a general 
uh, Linux download. So it eases your installation of the LEDs and stuff that are on the IPCs are tested with this industrial OS and they should work. Uh, I know in one of the early releases there was a couple of the IPCs that did not have the LEDs working. That's all spelled out on the support pages and the release notes for this product. And again, the, the big one here is that when you put Somatic Industrial OS onto a Siemens IPC, you will have that trusted Somatic support system behind you. So you have the ability to call and get support on these products. And whether that's uh, from an IoT device all the way up to a rack mount PC. Thank you for attending this brief video on industrial OS. I hope you found it useful. And if you have any questions, please contact your ENM support person.